Today we're gonna to do a tier list of famous Warden alumni. Got my friend Emily here. We both go to Warden. Hi everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a classmate at Patrick's. It's great to be here today. As Warden MBAs, I feel like we can opine on famous Warden alumni and rank them based off their accomplishments, mm -hmm. even though they've probably accomplished a lot more than either of us. So we're gonna rank People who probably who went to school here at some point maybe wore a sweater like this. Mm -hmm. What is your criteria? I googled like top famous Warden alumni. Okay, but, but <laughs> and this was the of basic our one. ranking. How? Oh yeah, you... S is basically supreme. So like the top. <laughs> like I feel yeah. like we can only have two to three people here max. Okay. Either they contribute the most, yeah. they've made the most money, or mm -hmm. whoever we like the most, honestly, mm -hmm. too. Right? Yeah. I feel like. We put ourselves on F. For failure? Well, I guess we're not failures well, yet. So maybe we're D's, maybe we're D's. I'm also pretty sure, Patrick, some of these people on the list are convicted criminals. So yes. how do we want to rank ourselves in relation to, <laughs> what is We can talk here? about it, we can figure it out. <laughs> but okay, we're gonna be D's. I feel like that's fair. We're not failures. Yeah. Hypothetically, everyone should be above us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So first up, Michael Milken. Yeah, I don't really know exactly what he did. Definitely something very famous in debt finance. Wikipedia. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Presidentially pardoned. Uh huh. <laughs> I, by who? I don't know. But he, I think, created the high yield, the junk bond market, or the high yield bond. Yeah. Market. It depends on who to... you talk to. If you talk to high yield traders, it's, he's quite. Is he? Uh, <laughs> is he like the man? I think he, he's above us. Uh, from... I think some would say he revolutionized certain markets. <laughs> I guess we can always move them later. I think it's just also difficult when you put us there as benchmarks, you know? <laughs> I... <laughs> Why don't we table us for last? Should we drag that? Can we drag us down? Yeah, okay. That's it. Yeah. Because I'd agree with Malkin in D if... Okay, yeah. Let's, we'll put him at D. Yeah. I see what you're saying. And then we'll go back yeah. afterwards and put us in there. Yeah. Next up, oh. <laughs> Elon. He was a TA, right, for a class and stuff here. Yeah. Like, that's what he did as an undergrad. So I think... Yes. Yeah. Pretty, I mean, yeah. just the twi the Twitter game. Well, like the meme some, would game. Argue, some would argue that he's a bit of a troll, though. That's probably why Tesla is doing so well. I want a Tesla, partly because of the memes. I, I'm not going to lie. Not even the cars that Tesla puts out, but they have like, they sold rocket launchers. Yeah. Tequila, like that's... I think it's yeah. hilarious. I think it's smart. I think he deserves S. Agreed. He changed the world. I, yeah. Yeah, and made a handsome profit while at it. Next up. Who is this? This is Laura Lang. Might have to Google her again. She's the CEO of Time. Oh. I, when I go, when you Google like top famous yeah. Warden alum, she's like in every list. I think part of it is because she owns the media, right? She is Time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Don't they also own Sports Illustrated or something? Yeah, I thought that was very interesting. Time Inc. And then Time Inc. owns like Sports Illustrated, mm. People in Style, they also Golf do Magazine. Lists, I think. Sports Illustrated? Yeah. They? Yeah, they do. Has she ever been? Oh, <laughs> cut that one. <laughs> so where, where are we putting her? Successful executive, I think exactly sort of what business school molds you to be in yeah. many ways. I'm gonna say B because I think we have a couple others that are. Okay. At the very end, yeah. we can do something else, but we'll put her, for, I think B for now is fair. Yeah. Another CEO, mm. Sundar Pichai, right? Yeah. Am I saying that right? They own YouTube. Mm. Since I'm trying to get on YouTube. I think he's I an think, A. I, I think, think he's a, yeah. clearly A, yeah. at minimum. If he can guarantee that my videos go a little more viral, boom, above just us. S. Above Elon. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll put him here for now. I haven't gotten confirmation of any algorithm help yet, so yeah. we'll see what he thinks of the video. If he, if he wants to get up here, let me know. I'll change the <laughs> rankings. I'll make a new video. Um, this cool. person is Scully. Oh, this is the CEO of Apple. CEO of Pepsi. Then he was recruited oh. by t uh, Steve Jobs to be the CEO of Apple. When he got uh, And then he stuff. fired Steve Jobs. Oh. That's like the thing he has that's yeah. most famous about his. He yeah. fired C Steve Jobs. I mean, or you could look at it another way. I think Steve Jobs founded um, Pixar. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Pixar was founded during that time, so. Uh... And that's huge. I, I like that. Big Pixar guy. So. Are we going A? Are we putting in with the Sundar? Are we... Sundar is more relevant now. Yeah. So All right. So we'll put in, I think B. With that. Comfortable with B. Yeah. Okay. Oh, getting to the more controversial. The more controversial arguably ones for sure. More controversial, yeah. Well, I think that she has done well. I feel like definitely the least hated. Yes. So like here I have, I have the father, and then I also <laughs> have her brother. This is Donald is this Trump Jr. Junior yeah. Eric. Donald Trump Jr. Okay. Why isn't Eric 
here. No, Eric went to Georgetown. Oh, yeah. I see. Recently, didn't come out that Trump said that if they were gonna go to jail, that he wanted Donald Trump Jr. to go instead of Ivanka. Ivanka. I, you know, so I feel like everyone hates Donald Trump Jr. Like I feel like not even his father like likes him. So I think it's. <laughs> but he's Jr. Then why not Eric? Well, like you get the name at the beginning, you don't know how they're uh, gonna turn true, out. That's you true. You know, I, I think he's a clear F. She is above. Not I think controversial because of her association here. If Trump didn't run for presidency, I think she would be a boss. I think it certainly. But I think he not helped her. her reputation. Exactly. With the last name. Um. Next up. Oh, Joe Lowe. Hmm. Joe Lowe. Okay, so you said you you read the book. Billion Dollar Whale. Yeah. It's, uh, he, What's the big takeaway? He, apparently, it is not all that difficult to rob governments of billions of dollars. That's a crazy thing. Like you think about, yeah. like you, like this this dude stole dollars, billions of dollars. Yeah. He went to school not here. Really. He was like, at one point, just walk in the halls. He was an undergrad here, yeah. You know, he probably went to a few parties. He did like the thing. He was probably in the finance club, whatever it was. And next thing you know. I think he is wanted by Interpol. Very yeah. wanted, but not yeah, like incarcerated. He's on some yeah. kind of rather severe list. So I feel like being on that list, you have we have to put him in, in the Fs. Although, like, I'm sure, like, a movie's gonna be made, like, Wolf mm -hmm, of Wall Street in the mm -hmm. future, and he could yeah. be... Billion Dollar Well read, like, Wolf of Wall Street. Like, it was very... Yeah. I lied. We do have some lotters on here. Mm. This is both the Leonard. brothers. Leonard. Leonard and Ronald. Ronald comes by the Lotter Institute a lot. Represent. Yeah. I mean, full disclosure, we are beneficiaries in some yes. ways. Yes. So, I think S. <laughs> but Musk. people are gonna be like, we're just totally, like, yeah. kissing ass. We are know? biased. We are extremely biased here. We are here. students of the lottery. We are students of the lottery institute. At Wharton. We've, we're direct beneficiaries. <laughs> uh, biased S. Let's bring up the author, Nassim Taleb, the author of Black Swan. Huge deal, especially after COVID. Mm. A huge deal before. Well, I think right after the Great Recession, too. Yes. Because a lot of people consider 2008 a, a black swan, swan event. event yeah. and maybe he coined black swan event. I don't know. It's a naturally occurring phenomenon, black swans. Okay. They're just very rare. So he just did a book on the name Smart. Mm. So we're thinking A for him. I think so. Genius. Like yeah. you know, people will be talking about that yeah. him and his books, I think, for a while. And before so. he, he was a trader before he became an author as well, yeah. right? So After. I think it's not like he just writes book. I think smart guy. I think overall. it's very quant for an yeah. author. Like All right, next up, Bob Crandall, former chairman mm. of American Airlines. Credited with creating the airline mm -hmm. miles system. Which consultants love. Consultants like me love. Pretty big deal. I think because of the revolutionary thing he created, I put him in an A. Because now every airline does miles, every hotel. And I think he, if he He's, created that. Did he start the whole loyalty program yeah. concept for airlines? Yeah, basically? that whole points. thing. Okay, wow. So I think. Yeah, it's impressive. Pretty, pretty, I think A. Yeah. Next up, so Justin he, Tuck. I, I did not know about him. I'm surprised I didn't. That's. Yeah. NBA class of 2018. And he was in the NBA before he came to work. NFL. NFL. Oh. <laughs> Won two Super Bowls against Tom Brady when everybody hated Tom Brady, uh -huh. which was like a big deal. I wonder how that looked on his application, just on an essay. Like, just, I have two, it's rings, right? Yeah, you get? I have two Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Let me into the school. <laughs> you were saying, right? Like, MDs, it's mostly about bringing in business. Yeah. So this man's sense. just swinging deals. Yeah. Leveraging all his connections, just. Solid B with a lot of potential to move up. I'm in sure his career. eventually A, yeah. yeah. He could be CEO of the whole thing one day. For sure. Next up, this guy oh. is Charles Butt. B U T T? B U T T. Mm. So he's the heir of H E B. You might not know this at all. He supermarket it, it looks it's like a supermarket oh. in Texas. Fantastic. Okay. Supermarket. And then like when like all the stuff in Texas went down with like the winners and they were giving out free food, like everyone was praising H-E-B. I'm pretty biased on him. I'm gonna put, I'll put him at a B. There's right. still a Texas it's... thing, but I, lo I love it. Yeah. So bias there. Next up. Oh, I I forget, but uh, undergrad, right? Undergrad. This is the thing where I'm not sure we, he might even have to go on the list. He transferred out. To? Nebraska. University? I thought he transferred from Nebraska no, no, no. to. He went to Warden first. He didn't want to go to school. He just wanted to work in business or something like that. Were we not and worth his, it? <laughs> his parents were like, no, dude, you're going to Warden, basically. He's like, fine, I'll go to Warden. He gets here. He, I think he studies here for like a year or two. And then he's like, I hate it. So then he transfers to Nebraska. To Nebraska. Where he like graduated like in a year or something like that. Some people say he's the goat of investing, right? So that would naturally put him in a, at an S spot. But he didn't go to war, like he left Warden. Are we spiteful that Are he we, left? We can make it maybe a dotted border. Uh, I see what you're border. saying. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I circled him. So S. 
Yeah, I think so. It's he's a legend. But yeah. he left Warden, so Yeah. That's pretty much it. Last up we got Frances Perkins. She invented social security, basically. Oh. For the US. So okay. like old school. She went to school nineteen zero oh seven. They were There's not a no co-ed college. There's no graduation year. On Ward Magazine, they're like, she went here, all that stuff. All right, then we're gonna have to put her in. A or B, I suppose. Yeah. I think B makes sense yeah. because it's supposed to get more Bs than A's and S's. Yeah. And then lastly, us. I, I honestly, I still don't want to be on this list. <laughs> Why? Don't put me there. Don't, don't, don't put me there. <laughs> so we're That's F's. Not, oh, but I'm not an internationally wanted criminal. At the end of the day, look, we haven't graduated yet. Yeah. These are all graduates, right? Yeah. So, yeah. except for Buff, Buffett. One could argue we're, we're Buffets also. We're circles, we're circles like Buffets. I would be more comfortable between DNF, like maybe just, it, we're all circles, that's true. We're circles like Buffett, because we haven't graduated. We're up in the air, our potential yeah. is limitless. Yeah. We don't know where we're gonna be. Yeah. We're in the same boat. Okay. And then we'll see, we can come back to this video 20 years from now. Yeah, we'll and see. And re-rank ourselves. And maybe Justin talk uh, too. And maybe. maybe some of these will, yeah. rankings will change as well. Maybe. Life is long, we don't know. Yeah, you never know. So anyways, that's the video. Let us know in the comments if you agree or disagree with some of these. Thanks for watching. Thanks Emily for showing up. Thanks for having me. Cheers.